in Anthony's favor 2-1. Um, but it looks like it's mostly weeklies. So don't know that they've played at a tournament of this caliber so far. There's only so many out there right now within like the Indiana, Michigan area. Kicking around. I think Back to Smash was one that they could have played mm -hmm. at previously. I think the previous, like Lucid, Lucid was another one that I could have potentially played at. But it's actually going to be Afterburner 2023 where these two are meeting. And I hope you guys like Kirby. <laughs> to find that back air to get a lot of percent here. We've seen that j Jaw -Ja is very good at getting that high percent combos. Able to make it back with the limit up B there from Anthony, and that's vital. j Jaw's really good at finding those gimps, and Kirby especially is able to find those down airs. Um, and Cloud, although a great character, does really struggle off stage, so it's very um, important for Anthony to stay on stage here and try to, uh, to capitalize off of those openings without overextending. We brought it up before. Kirby's one of those characters that if you're going to be solo maining Kirby, you have to utilize every single bit of that character that you can. And JJ definitely does. Gets their money worth. Money's worth. For the most part, I'm just avoiding that limit. I'm trying to find a way in. JJ does have a bit of a lead. We kind of talked about JJ's more of a style of camping for the most part. And I think against Cloud, it is a little bit more difficult just to kind of like find your corner and stay away because there's a huge sword in for you. For sure. Yeah, I do think the crouching could be a, uh, a problem if we're seeing a lot of like back airs and landing up airs from from Anthony. Um, I'm not sure that it'll hit the crouching Kirby just because he is so low. But j Dog taking a nice lead here, only sitting at 83%, but uh, Anthony just very content with going to the other side of the stage and charging limit. That can be uh, a nice way to steal out of stock. It's kind of the trump card, right? You have a way to force j Dog to come in, and we're going to see them coming in with a vengeance. Double Fair has a bit of a combo string, but now there is limit on table that's going to be threatening. j Dog's barely avoiding it here. Crouching their way in and forcing Anthony straight back into the corner again. Ooh, able to get that neutral B there, but Anthony just firing right back with that down air. Only sitting at 51% so far, but able to use this cross slash. JJ actually falling out of it though. Really like that aggressive recovery there, using the fair onto the stage, and now this is Anthony's advantage shape, but able to get that grab to send off stage. These guys just trading back and forth. Yeah, you're gonna be using another limit, just kind of throwing it out there. If it's on deck, might as well use it. Anthony knows for sure that they're going to find so much of it during the set. Since Jaja's going to try to space themselves away. Oh, and it's the first time okay. we've seen JJ pull out the hammer as well, and it does find its mark. Yeah, really struggling to land here for Anthony. That up air going to be a great way to catch those landings for JJ. JJ. But uh, Anthony just firing right back. Landing against Cloud is also hard. That up air is a huge hitbox and uh, very comfortable going off stage here with the limit online. But yeah, JJ just able to uh, to time that out off stage and not have to worry about that limit. Absolutely love the stall there from JJ. Able to try to get in still through the onslaught of the back airs and be able to grab the second stock right off the gate. 98% though. This is something that Cloud can kind of seal out pretty quickly. For sure. Yeah, tries to find that up smash. Which I think that's something that I've noticed in a lot of Anthony's gameplay is he, uh, he can get a little tunnel vision on the up smash if he's trying to get those kills. But it seems like right now he's doing a really good job of playing patient here at the ledge. Again, that crouch is going to be really problematic, but able to find that back air. Not going to kill just yet, despite being at 130. It was trying to wait for that up B, but we still have JJ holding on to their jumps. It does seem as though that that back air is going to be catching the crouch when spaced correctly. And Anthony finding that second stock here with JJ trying to wait out that limit as much as possible. Ooh, okay. Actually able to shoot that back. Not going to shoot the limit back. I, I don't think I've ever seen that interaction before. Yeah, they get like the little star yeah. that they throw it out. <laughs> I don't think that's a fair transaction, but okay. Okay, and Anthony just playing super patient here. Able to find that fair. Tries to find the falling up air, but a lot of shield pressure here. JJ eventually going to get hit by sent off stage. And the cross slash seems like a really good way to stuff out a lot of these grounded approaches from Kirby but not getting a lot of follow-up off of them. Yeah, just gonna be looking for this on stage. It's kind of on JJ to get out of the corner. Double back air, gonna find a trip, but leads just only to a grab. Not a lot of damage off of Kirby's grabs. Can't up throw, can kill, but the rest of them, you don't get too many uh, interactions. I'm just gonna go for a rough board smash, Ooh. and Anthony, panic options up an up B, doesn't quite die to the rebuttal, but down B will secure the stock here from JJ. <laughs> Very excited about that game one. I think um, 
Anthony was doing a really good job with the high recoveries, just using the uppie above the ledge so that way uh, they could snap on the way down. But um, in that case, just didn't have the opportunity and Jada able to capitalize off of that with the down B. I love their usage of the down B though. Mm -hmm. It's very different for most Kirby players' yeah. usage of the down B. It's only in positions where they know for a fact that they're not going to get punished or that they're going to get a really hard punish. For sure. Very solid play so far. We haven't really been talking about their runs. If you've been keeping track of the bracket, JJ had a nail biter game versus Danny. I'm not sure if you saw that one. I went on game five. It's quite astonishing watching Kirby up against all these top tiers. Yeah. Right? These high end top tiers. Able to hold their own. I think it just really speaks to the talent of J-Jaw and what they're bringing to the table. For sure. Ray just struggling to get something started here. Using a lot of landing there, it seems like it's really hard to punish for, uh, for J-Jaw. And just playing around each other's shields, looking for a poke. Anthony able to find it with that back air, using the F-Tilt to send off stage, and now has this lockdown at the ledge. Really like that use of grab, recognizing that J-Jaw's using a lot of that crouching, which can be hard to deal with, but if you're able to just get that grab and send off stage, good advantage, but just able to fire right back. Oh my gosh, he uses a spike on the down air right there. Able to find that first stock and reversal that for uh, for Anthony. That's not the trade that you wanted no. here, J-Jaw. Really looking for the cheese as well. Put some damage on. It doesn't actually look like that J-Jaw's going to have too much of a problem securing the stock, potentially at least getting this damage up. Especially doing such a good job of baiting these uppies out of Anthony. For sure. Okay, back air going to send off stage. Able to get that limit, though. Make it back to the ledge. But yeah, just ready, patient, using that multi-job to, uh, to bait off the, the get-up attack and able to find the stock, just sending uh, back off stage and able to use the, the drill down air. They're kind of exploiting the one part of cloud recovery that's incredibly bad, which is how linear it is at times. Be, so far, two stocks have been just taken because of that. I'm sure JJ's going to continue doing it. Winning yet another scuffle, but every single time that JJ comes out ahead, there's another limit on the table. Great, nice use of that back air. I feel like Anthony's finding that back air specifically right underneath that uh, right platform pretty consistently. Ooh, yeah, but tries to find that up smash, not able to find it. Goes for it again, almost dies no. to a, an up smash there, but uh, able to use the dash attack to fire back. Just a little bit too slow on it. Yeah. It would have definitely been true if JJ fired it a bit quicker. Could have eating half of an up B at the very least here. Now it's kind of on JJ to keep the fight back from this deficit. I love that use of the cross slash there. And most of the time we see Anthony go for like a, a second or third up air, but instead goes for the, uh, the mix up on the timing and able to find a, a nice poke there. This one grab just barely. <laughs> Kirby says, I can run up in four till two. You're not the only one. He has stubby little boots yeah. that he uses with. So it's a little bit worse than the sword, as you can see. They look like little whoopee cushions. <laughs> they <laughs> they, they do. got super effective oh against a giant my sword. God, how did he grab that? <laughs> no idea. Ooh, okay, tries to poke there with the down air. Again, that up smash is not going to work out for Anthony. It's still in a pretty good position here. Has a nice, sizable lead. Yeah, it just seems almost insurmountable here for JJ and Anthony is going to be closing it out with a down air in game two, evening up the set count. It's pretty back and forth set so far. Yeah. It's one of those like thinking sets where yeah. you're just like, man, I haven't really put a lot of time into thinking Cloud and Kirby. Kirby's just not a character that you see super often. Right. Uh, I feel like JJ's definitely like pushing the meta for this character. So it's really hard to like distinguish the two. I feel like when I think of Kirby, I think of JJ. I think JJ is the meta for this yes, character. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Cloud you see a little bit more of, but again, just not a lot of representation of this matchup. I think it's really boiling down to how we're getting back to stage. If Anthony's able to find those limit cross slashes off stage, that could be very problematic for Kirby. But it seems like um, they're just, just very comfortable going out there with that down air. And if Anthony has to use the up B and try to uh, make it back to the ledge, it can be curtains. Going back to PS2, seems to be a favorite of both players. JJ loves the amount of space that it gives them. I'm sure Anthony loves the amount of space that can be covered with his sword. Mm -hmm. We saw him earlier taking Sunny, the snake, back to PS2 pretty regularly. Great. Just 
struggling with this upbeat out of shield, not able to punish accordingly. Um, I think it's really important to recognize that because at these lower percents, it's not a huge deal. But if we keep whiffing that at higher percents, uh, we've seen that JJ is just able to fire back with that F smash. There it is again, able to uh, push Anthony off stage only at 69%, but that dash attack gonna be long lasting. So it is a great way to punish a get up at normal get up or even um, get up attack too. I love the usage of up B from Anthony as well. Normally we see the hard commit to the up B1 and 2, but Anthony using the drift from just up B1 to get out of any potential punish that Jaw does. And it's kind of because of those PS2 platforms. Mm -hmm. Tries to go for the trump there, but Anthony already on stage, ready for it. Okay, back here gonna send up stage here. Oh, fishing for another one, but that... Oh, no! Oh. Just barely! And Anthony's still able to get back from the stage. That back air, though, could be sending him out into the blast zone. Yeah, it seems like these multi-jumps are making it really hard for Anthony to get back on the stage just because JJ is able to just hang out, jump in that space, and wait and react with a uh, back air instead of just having to throw out these hitboxes. One fair, one back air. Could be grabbed as well, and JJ has not been on the back of the stage in a little bit here. Such a dangerous <laughs> position, and... It's the lasting hit of that dash attack that actually is going to be coming through. But it's going to be running out a bit. Anthony, of course, needs to shoot it. It's going to be another up throw. But still, Anthony, still in a touch. Or J -Jo's not touch the ground. Yeah, I think Anthony's done a great job of tying this up. It looked like it was heavily in JJ's favor, but sitting at 145 now, just a straight back there could definitely kill if we see like a jump from ledge. Yeah, JJ being very cautious with how they want to approach, but they're going to be caught. It doesn't matter how cautious you are, that sword is huge. Covers just about everything that you can do, especially in the corner there. Anthony, bringing this back with Limit almost on deck. Okay. Okay, barely able to poke there with that neutral beam limit. And Anthony just t staying towards center stage, doesn't want to overextend and uh, get sent off stage because that's where JJ's seen a lot of the stocks. Using that dash attack to kind of clear the floor too. Going to be uh, super beneficial with dealing with that crouch, but able to just run up and find the grab too. We've seen a lot of the time um, Anthony will throw it at an aerial and JJ's just very content with staying in shield. So I think mixing in those grabs is going to be super important. Well, the aggressive options from Anthony as well. Unfortunately, when it comes to Kirby, if you swing against him and he's trying to pressure you off stage, there's not a whole lot that he can do besides go for the hard read. And Anthony has been able to consistently get back on stage because of that. And again, super content to just sit back and charge them and wait for you to try to jump back on stage and hit you with a back air. Okay, like the, the use of the neutral B to force a low recovery. And just choosing to double jump to the platform there, able to find that F tilt too. And now this is Anthony's game. Has limit at 104, but again, sent off stage. Oh, okay, no. that was a crazy recovery. Just barely missed each other as well. It's like an oncoming train yeah. that you just <laughs> barely jump out of the way from. Side B is gonna be hitting it. And, and again, Anthony just kind of jumping back. Let me get a little bit of damage here. Already at 44, 58%. And JJ just having such a tough time trying to run in. Okay, back there not going to kill just yet. Has that limit. Able to do a high recovery. Really like that use of uh, the, the landing hitbox on it. Ooh, that parry was crucial. Oh, this is just not going to be able to find it, unfortunately. Was hoping for the lasting hitbox of the dash attack to hit, but the grab will just close it out here. Only 68. This is not impossible for JJ. We've seen JJ make these comebacks previously, but Anthony does have limit to play around with. And as you can see throughout the set, it's just been such a determining, uh, determining factor for how the neutral needs to be played for JJ. Oh, that was a risky double jump onto the stage there, but able to use the oh, great tech there from JJ. Almost lost his life for it too, and JJ trying to go for the reversal. Down air is not going to be netting him anything, going to be eating a grab for his trouble. Looking for this back air, but able to find the fair instead. Okay, in a lot of these situations, we see that uh, Anthony is jumping a lot, looking for that back air, and then turns around with the F tilt, so definitely have to be careful about that if you're JJ. Just going to be eating another fair, another high recovery here from Anthony. Unfortunately, this time JJ was ready for it. Back air comes in. Anthony runs again to the platforms. And JJ not quite ready to punish. He needs to be very careful here, but it's going to be a down throw. Sending kind of high at this percent. Okay, but at these percents, we know that Anthony loves to go for that up smash. We have to be careful about that. Landing on top of Cloud. On one back air. And he dies? 
I think it was bad DI. It okay. had to have been bad DI. You went flying oh. off of that nair. I mean, he went flying, but it was also in like the top corner. So I feel like if you DI'd in, you probably would have died too. I don't know. He's got a limit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That was crazy. Not uh, not the move that I would have picked to, to end that game. No, definitely not. And JJ oh. running away with a set so far. Game three going their way. And thank you guys so much for tuning in for Afterburner 2024, Indiana's, I think, largest tournament to date. Somebody's going to fact check me on that one. Really appreciate everybody showing up. I'm getting some shrugs from production. That's good enough. This is the largest Indiana <laughs> yeah, ultimate they, tournament they to date. Just... <laughs> and honestly, it's been a fire tournament. It's been so fun. The venue is so cool. They have, like, not only do we have plain trophies, but there are also just planes in the venue. There's a plane over us right now. Yes, actually. It's a little scary, but we're <laughs> going to be heading into game four again back to PS2 where legends are made. This thing is cool. Right out the gate. As many upbeats as you can carry. <laughs> Ooh, missing the tech there. Not going to die just yet, but that F smash sending off stage putting Anthony in a bad spot for sure. It was the quick turnaround uh, uh, above as well. JJ expecting the high recovery to land back on stage, and he's like, all right, I'm just going to end it here. Yep. We're going to be done. Oh, no! no! No, the miss input. That's not what we want to see. And JJ already has a really stiff lead against Anthony. Ooh, okay, big damage here. Tries to catch the jump there with the fair, but Anthony choosing to retreat towards center stage. And stuff's just kind of falling apart for Anthony right now. Nothing that he's doing is really connecting. Trying to pressure JJ on the platform right now. Does have limit on deck. Yeah, that down tilt from Kirby is such a good poking tool because a lot of the time it can trip too, which puts you in a really bad situation. Able to see that limit cross last, just send us across the stage a good get off me option there for Anthony. With that dash attack just firing right back. Yeah, and this kind of comes down to your mentality, right? You had this very early loss. A lot of players were just kind of break in their situations. And it kind of is a testament of these top players that are able to kind of keep it together. Pulls the trigger on that dash attack, and it's not going to pay off for him. Now stuck here at the ledge, but I do like that early upbeat to make it back and uh, catch JJ in the crossfire. Also using the side B to kind of stall as well. Yeah. Anthony is digging deep for all of the resources. JJ's really fishing for this kill. Wants to make their lead insurmountable for Anthony. Does find a fair as well, and Anthony's another dangerous spot off stage. Not expecting that, just gonna get hit with that dash attack, but not gonna die luckily at 154. Ooh, okay. We haven't really seen a lot of the, uh, the blade beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah, of the time we're seeing the limit cross flash instead, but in that situation it works out for Anthony. There's been kind of a shift. I think game one was a couple times, and then the second that JJ ate it. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, this, and shot the this spear. Yeah. Uh, and JJ was just able to find the stock here as well. One back air, two back air. how it starts. Forward air and up tilt is just another one of those really rude combos yeah, too. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts to get hit by, but it's very satisfying. A little bit of a clank with side and down tilt Ooh. and a raw up B just to kind of throw off the neutral here. Going to be approaching with Nair and Jaw. Really just wants to keep this percent up as much as possible. Okay, there's that other blade beam there, getting a nice 20%. Ooh, okay, and using the, uh, the cross slash there to stuff out the grounded approach. Yeah, because it seems like we're really struggling to air, to air against a, a Kirby, just because of the multiple multiple jumps. But able to go out there with the nair, really risky edge guard, but pays off. I think it's like the first nair we've seen in this set too, and it's going to be shot just to take that stock. Limit does unfortunately run out for them. They did try to hold on to it as much as possible. Oh no, we got a Ooh. full combo as well. Going to go Ooh. for the mix. Doesn't quite take it unfortunately, and let's rip another upy here, getting Anthony out of that situation. Yeah, I like that little extension there. I was expecting the F smash a lot earlier, but uh, not going to pay off. But I, hey, if it worked, it would have been a, a nice clip. They want the kill. Yeah. Just want to take it. They want to take it all here. Another back air is going to be putting Anthony off stage. going to be forced to use limits at some point. I do like how we're landing a lot with down air from Anthony. It did work out in the first game, but... Or in the... I think it was the second game. Yeah, one of the ones was actually yeah. doing pretty well here. Run up a grab. And this is Anthony's tournament life. 
still clawed his way all the way back here. This is crazy. If he's able to... Oh, oh he what? goes forward. It's the down air. It sends up, and it actually takes no it here. No way! We're going to have a game five between these two. That was insane. Yeah, despite the, the very early misinput SD there at the beginning, Anthony able to claw his way back to this game five. It's exactly what I was talking about. You got to keep that, that steel trap of a mental, right? Mm -hmm. And Anthony just shows off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens on stage. Just that was keep... so risky. That was crazy. I do think you can see some of the planes Curry. on the roof. Yeah, there you go. On the, the top left there. I think that was a picture. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, well, no. You can pretend. They're just out of frame, which is the funny part. Yeah. We swear there's giant planes above our heads. <laughs> Going back to PS2 as well, I guess it's kind of this trading back and forth. None of them really wants to change the tempo. A little bit of explosive combo went out of the gate, but Anthony is super content just to sit back and charge limit as much as possible. Which makes sense. We got so much percent off of the blade Speaking of blade beam, Kirby has a little bit of one of their own. And that one's just going to miss, unfortunately. They got something pretty good all into game five. I think we're going to see a third one. Oh, there you yep, go. There yep, you yep. go. <laughs> That's what the people want. Hit yeah. it with the side B. No, okay. Deja able to uh, to get the grab there. Not going to get a ton of percent off of it. Seems like Anthony's definitely in control here despite the uh, the pretty even percents. Oh, really solid. Stalling as much as possible here from JJ. There's another run of grab. JJ keeps getting hit by those, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely looking for that up smash there. I really like the way that um, we're conditioning with back air and then getting the, the hits with the F tilts or the up smashes. But speaking of getting the hits, JJ able to take the lead here, finding that first stock. New fair one forward smash. Just going to take everybody's stock here. Got a grab, got a little bit of a conversion. 31% going to be the parry, but not too much off of it afterwards. That was a little scary there off of the parry. I don't think Anthony's touched him. Oh! Yeah. oh. Hey, if you're going to touch him, that's the way to do it. Yeah, that's a scoop right there. Securing that stock. We're evening it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, landing fair working out really well for Anthony. Um, it seems like he was really struggling to find the, the back airs, but the fair is, is working out for him. Yeah, the fair is a, one of those surprising moves. <laughs> yeah. Just going to keep throwing it out, and it just unfortunately works. Unfortunately for everybody else. Another forward air coming through. JJ gets the grab, puts him off stage yet again. We do have limit on deck, can use that. And, oh what? my gosh, it catches it! What? That was insane. I don't know, Kirby's dash attack's a weird move. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Maybe he tried to, to poke up above the ledge or something, try to use a BP up. We did see that multiple times mm. where he would land on stage with the second half, but. Yeah, Kirby not giving him the chance. I'm going to choose to believe that Kirby's broken, actually. It's so true. Actually, secret top tier. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's eating at least one of the jumps here. Anthony going to go really low for it. Does hit him with the up B and not quite killing, but you have so few jumps left. Oh, just barely making it back here. Does go for the dash attack. JJ on the scuffle situation oh. that you do not want to be in. Up smash going to be taking it last stop here in the game five. Yeah, conditions there with the fair and then able to catch him off guard with a mix up of up smash. When we get 60%. Oh, and you're trying to avoid these up airs as much as possible. Blade Beam going to be coming through. Just barely avoiding it. You're going to be tripped and trying to go for the fair, but unfortunately not able to find their mark. Oh, Anthony's playing a phenomenal game of neutral here, Emma. Both of these winner semifinals feel like they're winner's finals matches. It feels like there's so much on yeah, the line. They do. He's trying to find a little bit of an opening, and Anthony's just not presenting one. Oh, there it was. But again, we see the half use of the uppy. Able to be very safe when you're not expecting it. Goes for the forward smash. Nice get off me from Anthony. Yeah, those uh, the uppies are super convenient when you're able to land on the platform there. It's going to make it a lot harder for Kirby to uh, find the punish. I just feel like Anthony just put up a gear, right? Just playing so much quicker than what we were seeing previously. I think Anthony's just out for blood, honestly. Blade yeah. Beam gonna be coming through. Look, Fish is for a back air. He does get out of there. And oh no, you're just gonna be eating an air for it, but this one's not gonna kill. Yeah, very desperate for the kill here. JJ able to find that back air. 
Ooh, oh my gosh! Oh my god! Did he die? No! Oh my god, j Jeff's gonna be advancing into winners finals! What oh, a crazy that's interaction. A brutal way to go. Dang. Well earned. Yeah, well, well earned, earned for sure. I, it's just Kirby dash attack, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is with that move. Moves. That that cra that move is crazy. It does your it does your laundry, your dishes, it washes your car. Cuts the grass. Cuts the grass. Details as well. That's a crazy move. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, he I, needs I, it. Anthony did such a great job. That's such an unfortunate